Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you have never been here before. My name is Emma Tamsin Hill. I make fashion, beauty, lifestyle, girl talks, vlogs. I don't really know what I make. I just do a bit of a hodgepodge and we hope that it works. And here we are, so thanks for joining me. Today, we're doing a very long anticipated video. So we're doing a hair care video. Now, you might be looking at my hair thinking, you look scruffy. Um, but I basically just left it natural so you can see like the process that I do to my hair and what it ends up looking like, all natural. So I've literally not done anything to my hair. No hair dryer, no styling, no heat, nothing. So here it is. Mm, I wanted to give you authenticity, darling. So I'm gonna show you like my routine, basically. My shampoo, conditioner, what I do when I wash it, and the products that I use afterwards. But let's start off the video with a little bit of backstory about my hair and its journey to where we are today. Basically, around maybe a couple years ago, a year ago, I realized my hair was really damaged. Um, this is my natural hair colour. I've never really dyed my hair, only the ends and stuff like that. So my hair was really damaged. Around the front especially, there was so much breakage. I literally looked crazy. I'll insert some pictures. There was so much frizz and breakage. And I've never really experienced that before because my natural hair is kind of wavy. You know, it's not necessarily like really curly or frizzy or anything like that so i was a bit confused at what was going on it was just dry lackluster split ends everything and so i thought okay i really need to get a routine in place with my hair because i'm very into makeup and skincare my hair has always fell flat because i just never have really bothered with my hair i'm very much the kind of person i hate having my hair down and like in my face and in my space so i just tie it up constantly and you know it ended up getting pretty damaged. So this time last year, I had just cut my hair really short. Um, it was probably like up here. And in a year, it's grown to, I had it cut the other day. So it's grown to here. In a year, it's grown that much, which is really good actually. And I'm gonna tell you the tips of why I think it's grown so quick. Like I said, I don't dye my hair. And I only wash my hair probably twice a week, if that. You really do not need to wash your hair every day. Please don't do that. Um, your hair has natural oils in it that replenish your hair and nourish your hair. So you need to make sure that you're not stripping away them oils because then it will become very dry and brittle. So I wash it, yeah, probably about two times a week, if not just once a week, because it really doesn't need any more than that for me. And I also barely use heat on my hair. So. My hairdryer actually broke. I can't remember when it broke, but I didn't buy a new one. I need to buy one, but we'll get onto that another time. I didn't buy a new one, so I let my hair air dry constantly. I never use heat on it. If I'm gonna go out or whatever, I might curl it or straighten it, but I never really do anything to it. So I think that's why it's grown very quickly. Now getting, sorry, I've got a cold if you can't tell. Getting onto why my hair was in such bad condition around the front of my head. I always wear my hair up, like I said, and I scrape it back into a ponytail or a bun just because it's easy for me. And doing that was actually making my hair break across the front. So one major tip is to make sure that you are not using elastic bands. I'll show you what I use. I either use a scrunchie like this or I will use one of these bands that is just, I don't even know what it is, but it's just less invasive and like less hard on your actual hair or an invisibubble like this because they're just, they're just great. Or little clips. So I use all these things to tie my hair up instead of using, I threw all my bubbles out, so I don't even think I have any, but you know what I mean, like the elastic bubbles, they're just so tough on your hair and can make your hair break and it's not great. So first of all, you need to swap all of your bubbles to ones like this, Invisi bubbles, or ones like this, or just throw them, or scrunchies, or clips. There we go. Also, try to avoid pulling it super, super tight because again, that's just putting more strain on the baby hairs around the front that are the most thin and fragile. Also, a major key that I just don't seem to listen to myself is getting it trimmed regularly. So, I had my hair cut the other day for the first time in over a year. 
because I'm stupid, but I just feel like it looks so much healthier just by having it cut. I just have it cut straight across the bottom because I feel like it makes my hair look a lot thicker. My hair generally, I don't have thick hair at all. I have thin hair, but I have a lot of hair, if you know what I mean. So it's not very thick at all, but I just have a lot of it. So having it cut, especially like very blunt, makes it look a lot thicker. And in general just makes it look healthier once you've had a haircut. But yeah, this is my hair right now as it stands. Um, yeah, it's nowhere near as frizzy as it used to be. And as you can, I used to have so much frizz here, you can't really see, but that is just my hair naturally now. I'm not gonna say I don't have any frizz, because I definitely do, but that's just part of my natural hair's texture. So, with the products that I'm gonna show you in the video, I help combat that. Yeah, as you can see, I have like a little bit of a wave, nothing major. Yeah, this is my natural hair and my natural hair colour as well. So let's get into my actual routine and then I'm going to share some more tips with you after that of how I've been switching it up. Hair care is personal for everyone out there and it's never one size fits all, which is why I've partnered with Function of Beauty for this video to show you my 100% customizable shampoo and conditioner that I've been using for the past few months. And I'm going to let you know how you can make your own too. So you fill out a short quiz outlining your hair type, your hair goals and your personalized preferences. My hair is wavy, fine and oily so I went for the goals in anti-frizz, oil control, replenishing my hair and strengthening it. All the shampoos and conditioners have no parabens, sulfates, GMOs or toxins and they're 100% vegan and cruelty free which we love, we stan, thank you Function of Beauty. I chose the Feeling Fine Apple scent, Feeling Fine Apple, uh, which is coconut and pineapple. I absolutely love how personalised the products are and the packaging, it even has my name on it and the cute little phrases on the bottle. They also sent me some travel size silicone bottles that I can decant my product into which is super useful when I'm traveling. Function of Beauty also have a leave-in hair treatment, a mask and a hair serum which again are all fully customizable. I just love how personalized and individual these products are because you can solely target all of your hair concerns like I did. So you can click the link in my description to get 20% off your first order and I'm going to show you how I use them all right now. So to start my routine off, I just get in the shower and I wash my hair, give it a nice little scrub, you know what I mean? Maybe do a little bit of a dance. Then I'm taking my Function and Beauty shampoo and I am doing probably about three pumps onto my hand. You don't need a lot of product. And so what I'm gonna do is just focus on my scalp and really rubbing that into my scalp and you know giving myself a bit of a head massage and just basically making sure the product is all in there and really gonna clean my hair one of the major things about shampooing that i've learned is that you don't need to put it all over your head all you need to do is put it on your scalp on your roots and the rest of the product will trickle down and clean the rest of your hair so that will save you a lot of product as well because you only need to use it on your scalp next is conditioner so i like to go a little bit ham with the conditioner you know I like it so I'll probably do a few pumps and put it all over my head I used to think you only needed to put it around the ends of your hair where it was dry big no-no <laughs> because I have oily hair I thought I couldn't put it on my scalp but now I've realized put it all over your head it will nourish your hair it will give it the things it needs I'm gonna leave that on for about five minutes while I wash the rest of my body and sort of just let it sit there and then once I finish all that, I will wash it out. And you know, yeah, just give my hair a thorough wash again. My hair feels really, really clean after this, which is a great feeling. Now, when I'm out of the shower, one of my major keys is using this microfiber towel. So I got this from Amazon. So what I'll do is put it on my head and I'm not gonna rub my head. I'm just sort of patting it. And as you can see, I'm just sort of squeezing my hair to get the water out of it. I don't wanna scrub my head because that will make the hairs around the front of my face sort of frizzy and prone to breakage. Then I'm gonna take my pot brush and that just helps me brush through my hair easily. I have really tangly, knotty hair. So doing that really helps with keeping it, you know, nice and not free. One thing I will say about when you're brushing your hair is to start brushing from the bottom and then bring it upwards because if you start from the top, you're prone to tugging at your hair and pulling it and again, just making it more prone to break. Again, I just keep going back in with my towel just to sort of get all the moisture out of it. Now for a hair mask, I'll probably do this once a week. So I'm just gonna use this Cantu hair mask. It's targeted towards super dry and damaged hair. So this is great. I find it smells incredible and it's super nourishing. Leave it on for half an hour. So I'll go and do my thing and then I'll wash that out. And now we're ready to, you know, put a couple more styling products in it. Yep, drying my hair again. I just do that because I don't have a hair dryer. So 
to try and make it air dry as quick as possible i just like to squeeze all the moisture out of it now i'm gonna go in with olaplex number six so this is the bond smoother and you literally need a pea sized amount you don't need too much of it so i'm gonna put that on my fingertips rub it into my hands and then disperse it all over my head so i'll start with the bottoms of my hair and then eventually i'll use the rest on the top of my hair again i don't want anything to weigh my hair down or make it feel greasy and i really like these olaplex products i researched a lot into it before i bought them because they're kind of expensive but i really do feel as though they're worth it Next, I'm going to take Olaplex number seven, the bonding oil. And I absolutely love this product. I think it's a lifesaver. So I put it in when my hair's wet. Again, I only needed two drops of it. You don't need a lot. Putting that all over my hair. And I love to use this when my hair is dry as well. Both of these products you can use in your hair, wet or dry. And I love the oil for styling. So if I put my hair up, I'll just use it to tame any flyaways. Or even when it's down, I just like to use it because it just makes my hair look shiny and you know less frizzy so that is my hair after all of that styling so i'm gonna let it air dry from there now this is my hair three days after i've washed it so i think it looks really thick and luscious so i'm a bit greasy because my hair gets oily quite quick so i'm just gonna take this dry shampoo i use batiste i've always used it ever since i was a kid putting that in my hair and then i'm just gonna you know make sure that is all in and no white marks are left from it so I had my hair cut the other day, so it's looking nice and thick, I especially around the ends, which is what we like. I don't want any scraggly split ends. I think it makes your hair look automatically not in great condition. So make sure you're getting your regular haircuts. Again, I'm going to take my bonding oil by Olaplex, one drop of it, and I'm just going to put that through my hair just to make sure it's not too crazy. So another thing that really helps is I... When I sleep, I toss and turn and toss and turn. And that in turn makes me rub my head against a pillow and can cause breakage. So I bought this. This is a silk bonnet. You can get these on Amazon. I think I got a pack of two for like, I don't even know, like a fiver or something. And you basically put it on your head like this, obviously. You put all your hair in it, but you put it on your head like that and it protects your hair. This is not new. This has been around for centuries, but it's just such a good invention because this just rubs against the pillow instead of your head. I always wake up with it off, but we move. I will say I do feel like my hair looks smoother when it's been blow dried and obviously it's less flyaways, a bit less frizz, but... I don't know how in the long run that would do for your hair or that heat. My products, these Olaplex products, do have heat protectant in. So just make sure if you're um, using a lot of heat on your hair that you're using a heat protectant as well. I feel as though it's a combination of all these things that have made my hair a lot healthier than what it was. Just generally looking after it and nourishing it with the things that it needs, especially with my function of beauty, because I have things in there that are targeted towards my hair type. So like frizzy, breakage, trying to get it back to health. But I think basically, as long as you have, you know, a great shampoo and conditioner that are for your hair type. Again, that's why I love these Function of Beauty ones because you can personalize them and make them exactly what you need in a shampoo and conditioner. Some sort of hair mask. So again, I use the Cantu, but Function of Beauty do have their own hair mask that's supposed to be amazing as well. For me, because I wanted to get my hair healthy and strong again, I needed products that had protein in or some sort of bonding. So that's why this Olaplex, what is it? Yeah, Bond Smoother. So I, obviously I bought these myself again with this as well. This has just made it a lot thicker and like more nourished. And this oil is incredible just for flyaways and to just tame my hair and make it less frizzy. And you really, I've had this a long time. Look how it looks completely full because I only need a couple drops. You need like two drops in your hands because you don't want to weigh your hair down. And my hair does not feel weighed down at all by any of these products. Again, your bobble alternatives if you put your hair up a lot like me my brush this has hair all in it i'm so disgusting i got this brush gifted to me a long time ago but i've used it pretty much every day since so it's by a brand called pop brush and it's kind of like a wet brush so it's just less invasive on your hair like it makes you brush through it and it's not as hard or horrible like other brushes it doesn't tug your hair as much because it is for more knotty hair i have very knotty hair i'm not head sore at all but i get knotty so quick so having this to just brush through it's just it doesn't hurt at all and it's just great for when your hair's wet as well brushing through it i really like this brush what can i say 
and then my towel that I got from Amazon. So this is just a special microfiber towel. I really feel like this has helped. But also just my technique in what I was doing before to what I'm doing now. I watched a video by, I think he's called Brad Mono, Brad Mondo, the hair guy. And I watched a video about how to properly shampoo and condition and you know, look after your hair. And that was super informative. And obviously like I've told you all about that in the demonstration before. So all these bits together, like not rubbing my hair with the towel, using the microfiber, it is all mwah, a beautiful combination. And I hope to just carry on and nurse it to even more health and make it grow even longer. I'm really super proud of the growth. I honestly think the growth was down to me literally not messing with my hair at all and it just doing its thing. So hopefully now I'm actually looking after it better as well. It will get even thicker and more luscious. So. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope this helped in some way because I know a lot of you have been asking for a video like this. Thank you so much to Functional Beauty for sponsoring. You guys know I would never promote a product that I didn't really believe in and loved myself. So I hope if you try it out that you love it as well. Don't forget there is a discount in the description with a link as well. If you want more hair content, let me know. I mean, I'm not the most best person at all this but i'm trying and that is what's important so thank you so much for watching and i will see you very soon with a new video bye guys